Oh boy, it's swell to say Good morning, USA Good morning, USA This is some party Hideki's doing it right He's doing it exactly right this is one of the craziest parties I've ever been to. And as you know, I'm friend I'm friendly. I'm I'm friendsly with Sean White. Oh my god. Is that Donna Nicole Marie Benelli? Hey, Benelli! You got a lot of nerves showing up here. So what? So what? So what? So what? Hey, happy birthday, man! You're doing it just right. This party, that double-breasted jacket you're wearing with corduroys, the 70s pornography you're projecting on the wall outside. These two things here? These are the last two Etruscan urns in existence. I don't always understand why my gut is telling me to do something, but I always do it because it has never steered me wrong. It's priceless now! Ha, that's right! Thank you, gut! So what happened? Eh, wasn't her. And now, the final Lego to complete our official entry into the Tri-County Lego competition. The four stages of Ron Howard. Not bad. I love it, and I still don't know who Ron Howard is. What are you, an idiot? <laughs> He's only one of the most popular mainstream directors of our time. Eh, Ron Howard's okay, but I prefer indie films. That can only mean one thing. Mom, who died? Shmooly, how shall I put this? You're a child, and you're gonna remember this for the rest of your life. So I wanna make sure I say this right. Your dad is dead! Man, that Hideki does it right. What a perfect party. Well, not entirely perfect. The cake? You noticed too? Yeah, but they have to cut the cake somehow. But what if they didn't? You mean, what if they got enough cakes to give each and every person their own entire cake? No, that's not what I'm talking about at all. I mean, what if there was some way to cut all the pieces at, at the, the same, same time? time? Yes, it could even be dishwasher safe and the wire blades could... Roll into the handle so it could fit in a kitchen drawer for... Easy? No. Nonsense? Storage. We could call it piece of cake because it makes cutting a piece of cake... A piece of cake! If we listen to it, we'll get rich! Do you really think it could work? I think someone does. They need to be together. Oh my god, we're really doing this! I know, it's really gonna happen! And the best part is we'll be equal partners. With only a verbal contract based on trust. What more is necessary among friends? <laughs> what are you doing here? Why aren't you at your dad's funeral? I'm not going. You're not going to your own dad's funeral? Whoa, whoa, you're not going to the Lego competition. Snot, if you don't go to your dad's funeral, you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. Like when I cut off my rat tail. Steve, this is not a big deal to me. I really don't care. Because you're in denial. Hmm, how do I make this clear to you? A half tank, but it's a big tank. Why? Because we're going to California. We're taking Snot to his dad's funeral. I said I don't wanna go. And you know where your best friends in the whole world are gonna be? right there beside you every step of the way. Fine, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna get to that funeral and still not feel anything about my dad dying. I promise you, buddy, by the time we get there, you're gonna be an emotional wreck. We found a lot more than that. We found each other. Not to mention ourselves. Will you shut up? You've been narrating for four hours. I can't believe your dad is dead. Fine. My dad was never there for me when he was alive, so it doesn't feel like anything's changed. I mean, he was in and out of my life until I was eight, and then he disappeared completely. I had no idea that while I was swimming in name-brand snack foods, everything was so weird for you. I'm gonna need a minute, guys. <laughs> His dad died. So yeah, there's that. Oh, 
I'm sorry to hear about that. Thanks, but I didn't really... Yeah. It's been pretty rough on all of us. Barry, pull over. We need to wander around the woods. Okay, I'm out. I don't think I can relate to this journey. The truth is I have a serious meth addiction and I need to get to an underpass before nightfall. Good luck and Godspeed. That could be your dad right now. Caca! Just beneath the surface What the hell is that thing? It represents your dad. I was thinking you could scream at it or burn it or something. I'm not gonna do that. Snot, you need to process this. This is a big deal. But you should have some reaction. You have to feel something. He was your dad, and now he's gone. We're all gonna die, Steven. I'm gonna die. You're gonna die. Everyone dies. <laughs> We are all alone in the universe. We are not alone! We're in this together! We are born alone, and we die alone. Sochi! Sochi, where are you? Sochi, please come back! Sochi! <sighs> It's so hot in this corn. I found him! What are you talking about? Is the real aluminum wire which is spun to perfection in China. Where they know how to spin wire. This wire is safe to touch. You will not cut yourself on this wire. This wire retracts into the handles for easy storage. I could just go on and on about this wire, but the real proof is in the pudding, or the cake, as I should have said, because we are about to slice up some cake. Now, I've heard stories of people running this system under hot water and using it on ice cream cake. We don't have time to dilly-dally, so we're just gonna get a room, shower up, and then get right back on the road. <sighs> Um, hi. Uh, can I help you with your cello? No, it's my suitcase. I just don't think all suitcases should be rectangles, you know? I think sometimes suitcases can be cello cases with clothes in them. It's pretty hard to tell, but I didn't become an artist because it was easy. You're amazing. I'm actually a total dork. I gotta get something to eat. I'm starving. You can move that way, or you can move that way. But you got to move. You're right. I've been frozen inside, stuck. Now I understand what Steve was trying to do for me. I gotta get to this funeral. I gotta move. In the lobby! They only do this because I tried out. Yeah, so his dad is dead, and we're heading to the funeral. It's rough because his dad was never really there for him, so, you know, it's, it's rough. He's also pretty poor. Well, with a friend like you, he's got more than most.
Steve, I get it now. I get why I have to go to my dad's funeral, and I owe it all to you. That, that's great, buddy. And, and I want to talk all about it the minute you get back. Just you and me in the buddy closet. I think she's the one. And, and that I would meet her now, while you're going through your thing? What a wonderfully transformative time for both of us. But... Mm, life. Am I right? Hey, I just feel good taking you to your dad's funeral. I just realized I don't know your name. I could tell you my name, but would my name tell you that I'm incapable of seeing the color orange? I just have to trust people who give me these. I'm Steve. I'm the kind of guy who drives cross country to take his friend to his old man's funeral, then gives it all up when he finds his manic pixie dream girl along the way. Wait a minute. You blew off your grieving friend to hang out in a hot tub with a complete stranger? No. No, no you, you don't understand. You're an emotional tourist. You're the kind of person who feeds off others' experiences to fill the void inside of you. An emotional tourist. And I'm sorry, but that's not the trip I packed for. We're all searching for something. Something that makes us feel alive. Something to connect us. But sometimes when you're searching for something, the worst thing that can happen is you find it. So now what? Just drive. A railroad gypsy took away my best difference, but you are bumming me out. I could have gotten out of the truck and given Snot a hug, but what would have been the point? What's the point of anything? In between the blinks. But that was definitely the weirdest kid I ever drove away from a funeral. And I'm usually up for anything. so smoothly. That's what happens when you trust your gut. So what now? 